faith, the spiritual frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Incarnation. Its ongoing mission to explore the strangeness of each new moment, to seek out new wisdom and new compassion, to boldly embody more love and more joy than we have before. Captain's Log, Stardate 0000.0. Captain James T. Balthazar of the United Federation Magi Class Starship Incarnation. As part of a program to develop relations between the Federation and the Klingon Empire, we've begun sharing astronomical data. Our sensors picked up anomalous activity from a star in the Jerusalem system, and the readings were routinely forwarded as per agreement to both Federation and Klingon research outposts. I thought nothing more of it until... Captain, I've been performing preliminary analysis of the anomalous star. The readings correspond to those predicted in Klingon prophecy. They believe that such a star signals the birth of a child who will bring peace to the galaxy. That would be nice. Sounds harmless. We're being hailed. Let me guess, it's the Klingons. Yes, sir. On screen. Captain, I am the Klingon Viceroy Herod. Those anomalous readings from a star in the Jerusalem system. We must request that you investigate. Must you? We are on our way ourselves, but it will take us three days, and you are six hours from there at maximum warp. And what is it we're looking for? What is this urgent need to follow yonder star? That will become clear. Viceroy, you think that on one of the planets near that star, a certain child has been born. You know our legends, Captain. Yes, please go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found her, send us word so that we may also go and pay her homage. Hell it out. He's gone. Klingons. Ah, we don't take orders from the Klingons. On the other hand, perhaps we could do them this small favor in the spirit of improving relations. What do you think, number one? Captain. The star has a unique radiation that spiked about an hour ago. The radiation could have an effect on the genetic makeup of any child being born at the precise moment of the spike. What kind of effect? The science is no clearer than the Klingon legends. It could make the child become an extraordinary spiritual teacher, an embodiment of love and peace, or a judgmental thunderer, a visionary, an iconoclast, a healer, an advocate of income redistribution who doesn't like money changers at the temple, a revolutionary who ends the oppression of her people, or a teller of paradoxical parables. Sounds like we may have our own reasons for checking this out. Lay in a course for the Jerusalem system. Yes, and Captain, I've just got a message that Captain Melchior of the Starship Frankincense and Captain Casper of the Starship Myrrh will be joining us. Those are also Magi-class starships. We will be in good company. Captain, whatever we find, it's likely that the Klingons regard this birth as a threat. It's just what I was thinking, number one. If she's a revolutionary that leads her people out of oppression, it's the Klingons themselves who might be seen as the oppressor. And if she brings peace to the galaxy, the Klingons may fear that even more. Peace would be a disaster for them. The entire Klingon economy is based on war. They want to find and kill this babe, so that doesn't happen. Viceroy Herod wants us to lead him right to the child. Captain? No, we're going. We'll just need to cover our tracks. Leave for our own country by another road. If that's a metaphor for jettisoning our transponders so we can't be tracked, then... Yes? Then make it so, number one. Aye, sir. I will inform Captains Melchior and Casper and recommend they do the same. Captain's Log, Stardate 0007.5 The strange star in the Jerusalem system had only one inhabited planet. It wasn't long before we located the babe. I have to say she had quite an effect on me. Her clear eyes were like phasers set on stun. It made me want to give her things. I wanted to have our replicators make gold to give her. Melchior and Casper were ready to give her their starships frankincense, and myrrh. They likely would have if they could. But more than that, time in her presence made me want to give what I had, not just to her, but give to anybody, to everybody. 
We beamed mother, father, and child aboard and carried them to a planet where the Klingons won't find them. We took her to the planet Vulcan. They'll make sure the young family is cared for, and the child gets the training she'll need if she is to be the savior of the galaxy. (laughs) 